Okay, so I put the micrometer back on the on part of the body so I can hold and bend these tabs down. I'm just going to use a I don't really want to distort Let's just try this. It should be okay. If I grab it give it a nice bend. Get the next one do the same. Just not want to put any, not wanting to put the stress on the module itself. This should be good enough to get these started all the way down now. Like that they're bending over where they're at. Put the Allen wrench underneath there. Finish it up. There we go. I have all those bent over, and I can solder onto there. And let's make sure that the outside body still goes over without any issues. So we do not have a. not have a collision issue there's plenty of space inside of there where the aluminum bracket the module all fits inside underneath that cap time to do some soldering let's get that set up okay i'm going to start this off by tinning these pieces i think i've already started doing a little bit of it i wanted to bring you in to see this solder to flow into that one Okay, we've got a good amount of coverage on these two sets now. Let's get the uh, block piece. Go ahead and feed it through. This is the same strain relief that they used. I thought it would come in handy. Get that on there, just like that. Now we want to join these two pieces. Let me get Okay, so we have red to positive, brown to the B phase, yellow to the A phase, and black to ground. There we go. Cool, I'll put this back together, and then we'll carry on. Okay, so we've got this cleaned up and put back together. What I'm going to go ahead is I'm going to strip off some other of the... The other end of the wires here and put some connectors on there okay so i have put little pigtails on the end of the, the wire for this micrometer and what i got here is um is one of the touch dro's and i've kind of partially assembled it into the box and i'm going to put this one on the x-axis so as before, when we created these wires, we said red was positive. We've got a 5 volt positive on this side. Now these US Digital encoders natively talk with the touch DRO. And then since I didn't have a, an orange wire or yellow wire, I went with just two browns for my phases. So I connect phase alpha and phase bravo, phase bravo to bravo and then ground to ground. Now I have I have the four wires connected to the touch DRO. I'll connect my phone for now to the touch DRO and let's see how this looks. Okay, I had a temporary problem there with my 
phone. So I restarted it. Let's do connect to touch DRO. It's now connected to touch DRO. Now if I rotate the thimble, we're getting motion, but as you can see, it's not correct. So I'm going to go into the settings. I'll scroll to the x-axis. Axis counts per inch, 500. That shouldn't be right. That needs to be... Let's see, I did 5 and 4. That's 2,000. Um, let's go 10,000. Okay. And then we'll go back. Let's go ahead and set the zero. Now I'm going to turn the indicator so that it reads zero. Okay, indicator is now reading zero. Whoops. Cancel. Zero set. Let's see. So each division on this micrometer is one tenth of an inch. So right now, it's a little bit too much. So we're getting to, uh, so right now it's, that should be one thousandths. That is one, th that's 10. So right now we're off by a factor of 10. So let's go back into the settings. Back to axis counts per inch. We need to add a zero. Check. Okay. Back here reset the zero come back to the zero again just kind of looking at it zero set if I turn it one tenth two tenths all the way around to the first thousands I think that's awesome so we're gonna set up a little bit better test let's try something really cool let's go ahead and close this we'll go back into the settings uh, axis count. We're going to add one more zero. Did we get that extra zero? Um, done. And now when I rotate it, I should get... Am I disconnected? Oh, we went the wrong way. Close. Settings. X-axis counts. Go backspace. Check. Okay. Back. Here. Zero set. And now, if I start to move it, There, we're getting we're getting the tents let's go close settings you know if I drop the axis count down by one more to 10,000 then what's what we're gonna see is shift the decimal place one more to the left and now we'll be counting with five zeros and the digits. So if I start to gently move it, you're seeing that it's counting between the tenths. Let's go to the, we'll go back to the zero. I'll hit zero set. And I should get 10 and then a one. So there, 10 counts to the first tenth mark on the on the meter so technically I have much better resolution let's put an indicator on the end of this and see how well we get uh, accuracy and repeatability we'll use the same setup as we had with our stand let me get that set up okay so I have set up a, a gauge or a, a one two three block holding the edge of the micrometer head and two on the side to kind of help keep things squared away right now it's currently sitting on zero I will zero set Close this. Let's go into absolute. Let's go ahead and set the zero. Um, okay, cool. So if I go back, so 
well, anyway, I've done something wrong. I hadn't quite figured that part out, so I'm zero on the indicator. Okay, so I have it currently set up with the indicator on zero, the micrometer head touching the indicator. We are in um, tenths of a tenths mode right now. So picture the decimal place one more further to the left. And the current reading is 18.9 uh, on the dial. So what I'm hoping for that if I back this off, I should be able to move the needle back to zero and be zero here. So I backed off the zero. And I'm just watching my indicator dial up here. I come to my zero there. I'm within um, 70. So remember, let's let's let me change that. Let me set this back to where it's one to one. X axis counts per inch. Needs to be one extra th one hundred thousand. Okay. Zero set. Go back and now I should be okay so come away come back looking at just the indicator I'm at my zero away back there's my zero and this is the tense indicator this is a uh, better than tense encoder setup and the tense uh, graduated micrometer head and right now in tense mode on the touch DRO where we are seeing one to one. So let's uh, go back. That's yeah, on the on the micrometer head. I went one. It's a little bit more. There we go. So compared to my indicator, zero. And that's one. So my indicator's off by just a little bit here. Or I'm miscounting somewhere. Zero there. Let's go ahead and go. Zero there, zero there. Zero set here. Okay, zero zeros. And this one needs to be at zero. Zero, zero, and zero. So from zero to minus one or plus one. And then from zero to minus one. My indicator is not that responsive. I, I have two things that are telling me that this is not quite right. And it may be that I'm at a slight angle. But that's super interesting. That's back to zero. Not quite minus one. So we'll come off. We'll go back into the zero. Zero, zero, zero. I'm pleased with that.